Hi guys, welcome to Adam McCullough TV. I'm Adam, this is Transfer Talk. Manchester United are on the verge of signing Matteo Damian from Torino, the Serie A club, who finished ninth last season. Apparently we're on the verge of signing for 12.8 million pounds and Italian reports are saying it's just a matter of time until he is a Manchester United player. This comes hot on the heels of the news that Rafael De Silva has been told he can find a new club. And given the season that we've just had with Antonio Valencia playing at right back more often than not, we saw Chris Smalling playing there as well, Phil Jones, etc. Um, we desperately need a right back who can take on the role and play there week in, week out. Who is Matteo Damian though? A lot of people on social media have been asking. Anybody that knows anything about the player has been attacked for talking crap. Um, but I don't know a lot about him, I'm going to be honest. Um, although I was fishing earlier saying he's much better than Klein and I'm buzzing. I don't know an awful lot about him. Apart from the performance I've seen that he had for England, which was half decent. He, got, he was involved in the goal that Mario Balotelli scored um, and he played well defensively as well. As I said, he plays for Torino, played 43 games last season, getting four goals and four assists. His who scored average rating for the whole season was around seven, which is a good rating for any, any player. Um, so he's obviously done well consistently throughout the season, which is helped by him having no injuries. He come through the AC Milan youth ranks um, and Palermo signed him up because AC Milan didn't want to take him on they weren't confident in him he wasn't that much of a success there palermo took him on a co-ownership deal and uh, where he had a few injuries those injuries in 2011 as i said and his career just never ever pushed on from there torino made an offer for him they bought him for five hundred thousand pounds um, and that's where his career really took off um he's quick his positioning's a bonus his, his tackling and his heading abilities are, are positives in his game the only weakness that he may have is his crossing, which is something that I hope he can improve on because obviously Antonio Valencia's crossing hasn't been the best down the right. Um, Ashley Young, um, over the years, we just haven't really been successful with our crosses. Um, since David Beckham left, I don't think we've had anyone who can deliver week in, week out consistently um, from dead balls or from wide areas. So it'd be nice to see him if he can improve on his crossing ability. But he's a proper Louis Van Aar player. He's flexible. He can play on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Um, he can play centre-half as well. He's tall. We've lacked, we've lacked height, um, both in defence and in attack. So we bring in a little bit of height as well at six foot. Um, and he's a player that Louis Van Gaal will love, by all accounts. Um, but is he a player that we will grow to love? Who knows? It remains to be seen. Obviously, we've got to see whether this comes true and it, it is a move that is completed or whether it's more bullshit paper talk. But guys, this is looking like a move that could happen very soon. And so we'll get to see just how he fares as a Manchester United player. I hope I've helped shed some light on just who Matteo Damian is. Although I don't really know myself. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe to Adam Matt Kohler TV. Like the video. Comment below on whether you're excited about the prospect of Damian signing. Or whether you know, you're a bit cautious. Or do you want another right back? Let us know in the comments below. See you later.